Hi friends, so in this tutorial I will cover how to view um, files that are older than a certain amount of days. So let's say uh, you're working at an organization and uh, your boss asks you to clean the server, uh, the file server, and you, he wants you to remove all the files that are more than a month old or more than a couple of months old. Or let's say you want to clean uh, the contents of your temporary directory or some other directory, especially files that are not being used. So you have forgotten about them and you just want to remove all those files that you haven't accessed in the last like 90 days or something. So in this uh, tutorial, I'll cre create a script for that. So let's get started. Now the first thing, uh, so the thing is that the first time I'm just going to type in a, a few parts of this command on the uh, command line or the PowerShell. Uh, then after that, I will create a script in the notepad. Uh, this way it's better because you can see the result. Oh, I, can see the result on the screen just as I'm typing those commands. You don't have to wait for the complete script to complete and then uh, for me to run it and then to find out what each part of it does. <clears throat> so now uh, the first thing that um, you uh, you do, let's say that uh, you want to find all the files in a, let's say that, uh, that are older than, uh, let's say five days in this case. Now the PowerShell has a command called get date. Now when you type it, it shows us the date. This is the day, Friday, June 15, 2018. The time is 3.58 p.m. Now, uh, and there is another command line called new and time span. Now, if you type in something like days and then five, what it will do is that uh, it will show us five days uh, like five days is in here you can see that five days one twenty hours seven to two hundred minutes and this many seconds and this total milliseconds so using this what we can do is that we can uh, using these two get date and new time span commands we can find a date uh, with which you can compare our files and then remove those files that are older than that particular date what do i mean by that <laughs> That was kind of confusing, so let's look at it this way. So I'm saying get date. It shows this it's this command in here. So what it does is that it takes this time, the current time. And we are using minus sign, so we are saying detect. What do you want uh, us to detect? Now what you want to detect is new time span, which is this command. And then we are saying days 10. So you can see that currently it is uh, June 15th, 3.58, so now it's 3.59. And you're seeing what you do is that take uh, 10 days, new time span, create a new time span for 10 days. And what you do is that you minus it. You detect this many days, 10 days from the current date. So currently, so that's why currently it's June 15th. If you deduct 10 days from it, it is like June 5th and exactly the same time 359 359 that we have currently running so this is what we will be using in this uh, script this functionality to identify f files that are older than a particular date so in here let's create this quickly so let's say that uh, let's get a variable called files and let's specify the uh, directory so users admin uh, documents temp so this is this directory uh, let me open this one uh, this temp directory so we want to find all those files that are older than 10 days in here so where is this is here and let me now uh, files what files does is that it holds a variable that holds the uh, location of this current directory, this one in here, that you can see the background. Now what I want is that I want to create a variable. So I'm creating a variable called aged. What it will do is that it will uh, identify the number of these older than which we want to identify the files. It's like uh, the one that we did previously uh, on the uh, PowerShell. So get date minus new time span. And after that, what we do is that we are saying days and then five. 
or let's say 10 in this case. Now let's say let's create a listing, a variable called listing. So what we are saying is that get child item. And then we are saying we are passing in the variable that holds the current directory, which in this case is the files. So this files directory, this files variable holds this directory. So we are saying that get child item files. So what it means is that get uh, the contents of this files variable, which is this current directory that we are seeing in the background. And we are saying once you get that, what you do is that um, find the files. So we are piping it to the where object commandlet. And once we do that, we are saying find every object uh, whose last write time, whose uh, last write time is less than aged. So what we are saying is that go to the listing. Sorry, this is the creating a variable called listing. We are saying find the contents of this directory and find all those files whose uh, last write time is uh, less than aged. So we are saying all find all those files that are older than 10 days so all those files that are created in the last 10 days don't find them find those ones that are less than five, 10 days so that are older than uh, 10 days now you're saying let's write something like number of files older than 10 days and then we are saying what you do is you type in listing, which is the variable, and then count. So this listing in here, this is this one, this variable that is holding it. So we are saying find the count of it. So let's save it. Now in here, let's see the dates. So you can see that today is June 15th. However, there are some files that are older than that. So these files were modified or last time they were created were 12th of May 2018. So one, two, three, four, five. So you can see that these five files, it should PowerShell should identify. Now, let me go to the documents directory where I have this script. So if I do dir, this is my script, PowerShell script, which I uh, wrote right now. Now let's run this. Now you can see that it says number of files older than 10 days is five. So these are these five files that are created in the month of May one, two, uh, three, one, two, sorry, one, two, three four five so these five files were the ones that we identified so this is how you can identify files that are older than a particular number of these and um, now in the next tutorial what i will do is that um, i will teach you guys how to delete those files automatically or how to delete those files once you run this script so the a script not sh will not only identify these files but it will also delete them once you run this script so this is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, suggestions, recommendations, or if there is any particular topic that you want me to cover, uh, feel free to put it in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.